Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. I am over here at a friend's house who does up Halloween. <laughs> Pretty spectacular. So, um, here we go. Wave, Kevin. Hey there. Here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's the Melody in the background. These are real, no, okay. got the epiphytes growing his tree too this is a garage haunt a lot of this stuff is cre Kevin created himself like Frankenstein on a chair this thing has always amazed me I was able to bring him out this year of course there'll be lights and fog and music later yeah, if there's lights and fog and music, I'd never be able to get good pictures of it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm here. He's trying to sit up, and I'm kind of bugging him. Not at all. going to project a Nightmare Before Christmas on this back here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Some of his paintings. And he's created this one. I guess that one too, yeah, of that course. Was years ago. Oh, I don't remember the witch. Yeah. That's the Wicked Witch of the West. She's cool. He's not fully set up, so. All this stuff are his creations. He's got a couple dragons in the house that dragon heads that are out of this world. I mean, huge, like larger than this thing. Mm -hmm. I built the throne there too. Yeah, you're not doing your throne justice this year unless I'm just here too early. awesome stuff thank you and I'm sure my viewers are going to appreciate it <laughs> Good. Oh. who do I zone in on Okay, well, I've done this before. I've taken a, a video of my monitor with my camera as I do a slideshow. So let's see if this will work out. Um, right now, it looks like I'm a little overexposed. So we'll have to see how it plays back. This is Kevin. And, of course, we all know who this ugly old man is. Um... This was taken October 31st, 2017, in front of Kevin's home garage haunt. Let's change pictures. Here we go. This is Kevin and his lovely wife, Melody. This has to be one of my favorites of his creations, and it's really hard to figure out which one is a favorite favorite he has so so many pieces this is on a uh an oak chair that he got from a courthouse i'm pretty sure it is all uh it's it's paper mache but it is an awesome piece i i i can uh, yeah i can't express how how much how great this looks in person it's just every time i see it i'm gobsmacked this is a piece he painted for a local um, animal shelter called the caddy shack c-a-t-t-y s-h-a-c-k i'll try to put a link down and down below 
Um, they do large cat rescues here in Northeast Florida. Um, not just from, the cats come from all over. But this was a piece he did. For, he did it a while back for something they had going on. I'm not exactly sure what. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I have a, a similar piece I, sh I think I showed in my in my sketchbook where, you know, you have all the pieces in a cup. But he went one step further and did the heart. It's just, again, it's just an awesome piece. This dragon, again, these pictures don't do, don't really don't do justice to the, to his, to his artwork. I'm not 100% sure what he makes them out of, paper mache and foam and whatever, but this piece is fantastic. This is another piece, um, it's not the same dragon. We can, let's see if I can go back. Nope, wrong way. There we go. You can see it's a totally different dragon. Of course, he's got several others as well. We'll see them as we go through. This is a patch that he hand-painted. Leather patch, hand-painted, and then sewn on his leather jacket. Or this could be his wife's leather jacket couple more hand painted patches and another just the just the shading alone and when you see these it's there's he he uses very little paint when when he paints them they they look they already look aged it's just it's just mind boggling Here's another one of his hearts. This one representing the love of motorcycles or things mechanical. It's just it, the, the detail in this from the lightning and it, it just, I think it's awesome. These are kind of self-explanatory. They go on the back of, uh, one's his jacket, one's his vest, and I believe this one belongs on his, the right, is on his wife's jacket. This one's a pretty intense piece too. I love, it. of course, you know, I really love this skeleton bird, skeletonized bird. I've done a few of those myself. Now we're getting into, this is, this is, these are pictures that I took that are in his haunt. The others I borrowed off of his Facebook page. Again, it really doesn't do it justice. This was actually back in a, a dark recess. He wasn't fully set up for people to come through his haunt when I was in there. Um, you, you probably see it in the video. I have no idea what this piece means. But I like it just because. And of course, you know, parts like pieces like this. This mask is made mostly from craft foam. So is this helmet. It's a very poor picture. Here we go. Here's another picture of the helmet. This thing, this thing weighs less than a pound. I mean, it looks like you, it looks like it would it would bust your back trying to lift it up, but it is so light, it is unbelievable. And like all the way down to down to the octopus on it, it's just it's super cool. Apocalyptic doctor mask. Um, this side has the tribal markings on it. The other side is plain. 
I don't think I took a picture of it. It may be in the video. This is another one with a top hat. This one's awesome. Again, my pictures aren't the best. This guy is actually uh, Kevin's wife's favorite piece. It, it's just, it's gruesome and, and cool and I can see why she really likes it. Just a scarecrow type mask another picture of the dragon head this is one that I took full on you can see it's, it's up higher now than it was when he, when Kevin had his picture taken with it because there's actually another one down below it This, again, this hat is created out of craft foam. I'm not sure what this guy's made out of, but he's cool. And then these tiny sculptures. This set of wings, it doesn't... It, the picture doesn't do it justice. I know I say that all the time, but these things are massive. I mean, that, that takes up the entire wall. Here, This is an actual door into his kitchen. So this wall has to be 12 foot long, at least 10 foot. I mean, that's a huge sculpture. And the, every piece of it is like the, the sword itself is, is totally, it, it's totally awesome. This is the uh, same dragon that I showed towards the beginning that he took pictures of outside. Again, this one is in the house, one that I took. And we're back to this. So I think uh, I'll probably just, I'll just do an outgo here. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Um, if you would share me around on your social media there's a link down below to my facebook page uh, my snail mail address is also down there uh, i'll try to remember to leave links to the caddy shack and kevin's facebook if you want to go check him out or uh, look at some more of his art i didn't post all of his art um, Let's see what blah 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 blah. Yeah, if if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Let them know you're thinking about them. Hit them up on Facebook. Send them a letter. Send them an email. Something. We're not promised tomorrow. But until I see y'all again, I hope y'all have a great day. Slotchy, y'all. Bye bye.